how to create a question in Google Forms. I have a feeling it's going to be a much longer video than my usual ones, but I think that you'll really enjoy it. So to create your first question, click on, actually there's one already there for you, you could just click in it and edit it. But to create a new one after that, you could just click on this plus sign on the right hand side and that's how you could create a question. But there's usually one there for you called untitled question. You will notice that it's multiple choice and you can click on the multiple choice and you'll get a list of options. There's all different types of questions that you can ask. A short answer which is shorter than a paragraph paragraph which is text also but it's a bit longer then there's multiple choice checkbox drop down they're a bit different in the sense that multiple choice you get to choose one checkbox select all that apply drop down select one it looks a little bit different because drop down you have to click on it to see the drop down and multiple choice all of the options are laid out for you so at that point it's just a visual preference. You can ask someone to upload a file, maybe a presentation they made, uh, or a picture, or a video. You can ask a linear scale on a scale of one to 10, how comfortable are you with blank. There's a multiple choice grid and checkbox grid. These look a lot like a rubric, so you'll have rows and columns, think of it like a rubric. And the difference between these two is that one, again, the multiple choice, choose one checkbox, select all that apply or check all that apply there's date so what day were you born you can include year or not include year and there's time there's two different types of time questions what time and a duration question how long does so those are two different time questions we're going to go ahead and take a peek at them because I already I already made them I've pre-made them so we could take a peek uh, I do just want to point out before we leave that you can require your questions to be answered so the user will not be able to submit the question the sorry the form unless they answer the question I typically make all my questions required so they can't submit the form unless they've answered the question so again let's dive in and take a nice little peek at the questions that I have for you so here is the Google form that I went ahead and made. Let's look at it in preview mode to see what the user looks like. What, sorry, what it looks like to the user and then we'll jump back in and look at the edited version. So I'm gonna click on this preview button, the eyeball, and it will bring up a live preview of what your participant will see when they open their Google form. So they'll see a question. What is your name? That's the short answer question. And what are your summer plans? This is the paragraph. I notice that the line under your answer stops here. And for the what are your summer plans, the paragraph one, the line extends all the way to here. It's not that noticeable, but if you type in this one, the text will cut off here. You could still keep typing, but you won't see it. If you type here, you can actually view the whole paragraph and this, this will expand. Um, see, it will keep going. This one will not. It won't do that. So that's a difference between the short answer and the paragraph. Multiple choice. What is your favorite season? Again, this is choose one. Only one. You can add pictures to almost every single type of question, but I'm going to show you this one in particular. What is your favorite season? So here's a picture. And this could be used for instruction, like a picture of a cell and say, use this image to complete the question below. And then I'll say, what type of cell is this? And I'll be plant, animal, you get the gist. So I just put this here as an idea. What is your favorite season? And they can choose whichever one they want. And I did something different with the same multiple choice question. So see, it could have just been multiple choice with no picture, include a picture, with multiple choice answers or have images as the choices and you could have words or no words. So this is again, choose only one because this is still a multiple choice question. You can, if you teach younger students, you could say which, pick, which image starts with the letter A and then you could have an apple, a cat, a book and they would have to choose which one started with the letter A. So those are just some ideas. 
The next question type is the check boxes. It see it says, please select all that apply. I can check all of them. I can even click other and type in an other option. The next question is which summer activity do you enjoy? It's a drop down. See, it's the same thing as a multiple choice. It's just except it looks a bit different. The answers are not all laid out for you and you have to choose one. The next one is a file upload. I wrote upload an image of you in your favorite summer spot. You can ask your users to upload a presentation, a picture, a video, anything you'd like, and they can upload a file. Here's that scale I was talking about before, and you could put like what you think the zero is or the five is, or you could change the numbers, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. And here is the multiple choice grid. I, these are actually already answered here because there's a new feature that says that users can save their progress. So if they click out of it, they don't lose their work. This was a really big deal back in the day in our classrooms when the kids couldn't finish their assessment in time and all their work would get erased. So this is a really positive change and I'm happy to see it. Uh, but again, you can change your answers and it's one answer per row. You can change that. And here's that checkbox. Where can you do each of these activities? I just made these questions up and you can choose um, all that apply. And this is more of a survey, but you could definitely make it um, an assessment as well. Here's the date question that I was telling you about and you could choose to include here or not. And here is a difference between the two time questions. What time do you wake up and how long do you wake up? So do you see, I put in a physical time like eight o'clock a.m. versus how long? Two hours and one minute. I'm just making this up for you. So there's a difference between what time and how long. So those are the big different types of questions. Also from the preview screen or from the actual screen filling it out, you can always click on this pencil to edit it. Your users will, your participants will not be able to click on that. I'm gonna go back into the form to edit it so you could see what that looks like. Um, where is this one? Just click on the edit pencil, make things easier. And here is the form in the editable version. I'm just gonna click on them so you could see. So this was the short answer. I made it required. And again, I could put a picture here if I wanted to. And I could choose one from Google Image Search. Just remember, use Creative Commons images. Or you could upload your own from your computer or your Google Drive. What are your summer plans? This was the paragraph one. And I could upload an image there as well. What is your favorite season? Just to add options, you click add option. And there's option five. Add option. There's option six. I'm going to delete those so I don't have them there for later. And this is how I added the pictures. I just clicked add image. Don't worry about these. I was just thinking if I should tell you about this. Don't worry about these. I'm going to show you this in a different course. I put that there. Just disregard it for now. You won't have that on yours. I, I will show you that in the part two course. Um, here is just where I added the image to the question. When I click in here, it's just that's what I did. I added the image. Let's keep going. You get the idea. Um, here's how I added pictures to each option. I just clicked on the add image. Moving on to the next type of question, the checkbox. You add the answers in the same way. You just click add option, add option, and the options are added. And you could add pictures as the answers or pictures as the question. Here is the drop down. Same thing. You add your options. Again, these are pretty much all the same. They're just visually different. Add an file. You could choose what type of file you would like. So you just type your question in here. And here are the types of files you, you, would, you would allow them to, to upload. On a scale of one to five, how would you enjoy the beach? You just type your question. You choose, do you want it to start at zero or one? Do you, what number do you want it to go up to? 
What does zero mean? What does five mean? You get to choose these things. Here is the multiple choice grid. You put your rows and you put your columns. You could add a row, add a column, same way we've been doing. You can also change any of these from multiple choice grid to checkbox, or you can navigate and toggle between the different types of questions if it doesn't look and feel this, the way you want it to. I would always keep using that preview and previewing what um, it looks like as you're creating it. Here is the checkbox grid, pretty much similar to what we've been looking at. You type your question here, you can add an image to the picture, I mean to the question itself. You add in your, your rows here, just add a row down here, put in your columns, you could add another column here. I always, um, I require all questions, but you could require a response for each row if you'd like with these. This is the date question. And you just choose the date and then you type your answer here. If you don't want the year, you just come in here and you say include year or you don't, you can uncheck it. There's some other options in there as well. That'll be for the more advanced class. What time do you wake up in the summer? This is a time question. And I'm gonna teach you how to do the duration one. How long does it take you? Again, this is just a time question. But in the drop down, you could choose time or duration. So that's how you could switch between the two. So those are all the different types of questions. Again, you could just click on this plus sign to add a question. And by default, it's a multiple choice. You can toggle, make it short answer, paragraph, whatever you'd like. So I, I usually make them required. And that is how you create a question. You just type it, type your question. Or if you have a multiple choice, you type option one, option two, option three, and so on and so forth. And that's how you add questions to your Google form.